changing out your hopper for cleaning or changing parts. To start with, we're going to take out our depositing rods. So this head, this is just a handle in the center. The two bolts on the side hold it, and then the pieces would hold all of our rods into our hopper. We're going to take out our rods, they just we pull out and slide up in order to take out of them. the rods out of our hopper, then we are going to get the rest of it ready to disassemble. Starting out with unplugging all of our heat sensors, which is our base heat sensor, our hopper heat sensor, and our actual heater for the hopper. And then taking our 19 wrench, we're going to loosen up our bolts on either side. This is a two-person job. Your second person is going to hold and support the hopper while it's getting loosened so nothing falls. Let me know which way I'm going to answer. Oh, no. I'm going to hold the hopper so I can look like it. <laughs> so we don't lose the hopper. No broken parts. And so on the bolts, we have our cap bolts. Will come off first. Your lock washer is the next, followed by your flat washer. And then we take our bolt that is holding the hopper together and slide it off to the side. And at this time, your hopper is now loose. So to take it out, always a two person lift so we don't break the parts or hurt anybody. We're going to lift it up enough past our base heater, tilt it a little, and pull it out. And we can take our white ovaries off so that we stay all in one place. And then we're going to bring our hopper over here and lay it down so that we can clean it out or do the maintenance that we need to do at this point.